is up guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be showing you how to safely download torrents online let's get right into it so first things first i need to give you a disclaimer i do not condone pirating software pirating movies, pirating games, pirating anything online, okay? So I do not condone it if your ISP gets gets mad at you because of anything you do based on this video, I am not responsible, that is on you. That being said, I am going to show you how to try to keep your ISP from knowing what you're doing and getting safe torrents online. So that being said, go ahead into the description of this video and get the two links. One is going to be for QB Torrent and one is going to be for Hide VPN. Now, you can switch out both of these pieces of software that I'm going to be showing you. With others, there are other Torrent softwares and there are other VPNs. These are just the two that I'm going to show you. If for whatever reason you don't like either of these two, um, or if either of these two don't work, it's only a Google search away to find one that will work for you. So the first thing that we are going to download is the Hide VPN. Now I am doing this in a specific order just because I want to keep you safer. So first things first, click on the Hide VPN link. It will open up in your browser and you want to click right here on hide.me. We are going to be going for the free option. Now the free option do, does have limits. It has a limit of 10 gigabytes. Um, and that's pretty much all it says. I'm not really sure if it's 10 gigabytes a month, um, maybe 10 gigabytes a session, but I do not think it is 10 gigabytes a, a session. Now you can do some more research on, on what the, the free option is here. So the free, the free plan is 10 gigabytes per month right here. So of course it's 10 gigabytes per month, if you happen to need more, you can always just make a new account. You have as many accounts as you can make emails for. And we're going to get more into that later. So click on sign up now. So after you click on sign up now, you're going to go ahead and type in your legitimate email address. Now, I am not going to be showing you my email address. I will be doing my best to blur it out or I might just skip over this. But, um, so go ahead and enter in your email address. So after you enter in your email, it'll say we've sent it to your email address. It'll show you what your email address is right here. If the email address is incorrect, um, please click here. So if you happen to make a typo or whatever, then, uh, click there to correct that. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to have to sign into our email. Mine happens to be a Gmail account. So we're going to go ahead and go to Google Mail. If you have a Yahoo, go to Yahoo Mail. Just go ahead and find where it says hide.me. Click on that. And it should show you something to this effect. Um, and then click activate my account. And then in a new tab, it'll bring you here where you select a username and a password. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this out real quick and I'll get right back to you. So after you create your account, it should bring you to your dashboard right here. Now it talks about how your free plan is active and it will expire. Um, after it expires, you will be able to extend the free plan. So it will be an active thing if you're only using this one account to continue to extend the free plan. So you want to go ahead back up to the top and click on download now to download the VPN. Go ahead and pick what you're on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick Windows here, press download, and I'm going to save the file. So right here, just one thing, if you are on Windows 10, you might want to pick this option because it will download it through the Windows 10 store. Um, so it's going to run a little bit better. It's a little bit more optimized, but otherwise this will work just fine. You go ahead and click on that. Click yes on the shield and this install process will begin. So press install. 
very quick install it's not very big at all okay and it is finished so we can go ahead and click on finish right here and then hide.me will open you need to sign into your account I'm going to use my username and password that I just set up. And then if you did it correctly, you should see this right here where it says enable VPN. So we're going to go ahead and enable our VPN. It's going to spend a second connecting and it is connected. Okay, so here it shows me what my new IP address is. You can click here to, to go to details. But what we're going to do right quick is run a test. So we're going to create a new tab and we're simply going to type in What's my IP? This is the IP address that the, uh, the hide.me gives you and displays publicly. Go ahead and copy that and then you can type in IP Geo Lookup. Under IP Geo Lookup, you can just click on the first one. This one happens to be ultratools.com. And then you can paste in that IP address. And as you can see, it is saying that I'm in Europe, I'm connected to the Netherlands. I am obviously not in the Netherlands, I do live in the USA. So, go ahead and close out of that, it is working. So the next thing we're going to do, again, we can close out of all of this. Minimize your hide.me VPN and click on the second link, the QB Torrent. After that opens up, you should see this website right here. You want to path over to where it says download. I am on Windows. I would not suggest using these main download links. Um, they're a little bit weird, but uh, if you're on Windows, I would suggest clicking either 32-bit installer here or the 64-bit installer, depending on what kind of system you have. And of course, if you have different operating systems, those are below. So I have a 64-bit installer that I'm going to need. Go ahead and click on that. Um, go ahead and accept the privacy, whatever. And then you're going to wait for your download to begin here. And after the timer goes off, it will download. And it's a very quick in, uh, download here. And you're going to go ahead and run the setup.exe. Click yes on the shields. And then again, you will have your, your normal installer here. So press next to continue, accept the terms and licensing agreements. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a desktop shortcut. I don't want to start it on setup. Uh, you want to make sure that you have open.torrent files with QBTorrent, open magnet links with QBTorrent, and uh, add Windows firewall rule. You want everything to stay the same. And if you want it to start on Windows startup, you can change that as well. So then press next. You can change where it paths to. I'm okay where it is. It's, it's very small. And press next. And then you can go ahead and uh, uncheck. Well, go ahead and leave checked. Uh, launch QB turret. And we can finish. And then close out of this tab. So here it is going to give you a legal notice similar to what I gave you before. Just giving you a little bit of information. Uh, and press I agree. And then QB Torrent will open up. So this is basically just a download manager right here. Um, it will manage our downloads that we're going to be getting online, uh, specifically our torrents. And I'm going to explain a little bit more about this after we find something to download. So for now, we can just exit out of this. So next, we are going to open up Google Chrome. Now, it is kind of important that you open up Google Chrome. I have had Firefox issues in the past. In general, I do not like Google Chrome, but in this one particular case, we are going to be using it. And we're going to type in Pirate Bay. Now, you may have heard of Pirate Bay, you may not. Basically, Pirate Bay is where people host all their torrents, there are multiple different Pirate Bay websites. I like to use the piratebay.org. Um, again, which one you use is up to you. I will not be putting this in the description because I don't want to get into some trouble with, with YouTube. But um, in the Pirate Bay search, you go ahead and type in whatever software you want to use. Now, whether this is games that you're trying to find, movies, um, different softwares, uh, you know, applications, you know, whatever, you, whatever you might want, 
you just type it in and press go now depending on what you're trying to download if you do download it it can be illegal which is why you need to use the VPN so your ISP doesn't come at you with uh, with, with with legal issues so go ahead and type in what you want I'm gonna be using notepad plus plus because it is freeware and I won't get in trouble for downloading notepad plus plus it's already free and here we can see there are uh, quite a few different notepad plus pluses that we can download so what we're going to want to do is find something that has a good amount of seeds, a low amount of leechers, but that also has comments and, and good ratings. So here we can see that we have Notepad++ 6.8.7 and it's portable. It has 17 people seeding it. Um, we can download this torrent using magnets, which that's not super important, but this torrent does have a comment, which is what this means right here. Now this one has a comment and it is a trusted user. Now there are only three people seeding it, but there are no people leeching it. So the more seeders you have, the faster download rate you're going to have. So if we wanted to, we can click on this first one. It is going to show you the ones with the most seeders at the top. Now I did say it had comments, but as we can see, we, we do not have any there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. It said it had a comment. Please tell. Uh, I have been on the pirate for some years and I've blood around and stuff. That's not important. Anyways, so here it is it is um you know telling you about what you're gonna be downloading. Sometimes it'll have some screenshots for you to look at. This is just text information. It is a trusted user, which means that they have uploaded things before and they haven't gotten into any trouble. People haven't complained. This is a very small download too, by the way. So we're going to go ahead and download this one. So we're going to click on get this torrent and open QB torrent. So here it is going to show you this menu where you can pick where you want to save this at. Um, sometimes there'll be multiple files that it wants to download at the same time. Here you can check, you can pick and choose which ones you actually want to download. I noticed that a lot of times, especially for movies, there will be multiple files that it's trying to download. You don't necessarily want all of them. They aren't necessarily bad. So you can check off the ones. This is Notepad Installer. Um, they have different different settings you can have here. You can create subfolders. You can you can download in sequential order. So if you have multiple downloads, if this is going to choose, um, you know which ones will download in what order. So you can also make it so this screen never shows again. I like to see this screen. And here we are going to press OK, and it will start downloading. Now it is kind of downloading in the background here. And we open this up. So in the QB torrent, it will show you here in all your downloads. Now this is going pretty fast. Again, it is very small. You can see everything that you need to over here. And just like that, it is done. So I had this downloading in my downloads folder. So we can go ahead and open up this. We can go to downloads. And here we can see the notepad. 5.6.6 installer.exe. Now I don't need Notepad++, but as you can see, it definitely did download. Again, what you do and do not run will be up to you, and um, and and you know whether or not you think it's a good risk to download something. In general, I like to download movies. I feel a little bit more comfortable downloading movies than something trying to install onto my hard drive. But that's just me again so i just got finished downloading as you can see under seeding it is in there so under downloads it went away in seeding it is here which now means that i am seeding this file so right now it says it has four seeders here if we refresh it might say five thanks uh get rid of the pluses i had some problems with that earlier we, we did this one so it still says four seeders, but I am actually seeding this now. It isn't completely accurate. So if somebody was going to upload, um, well, nobody's actually downloading right now. So it just says zero, but it is, it is seeding. Now do not turn off your VPN. If it still says something is seeding, um, that can be potentially dangerous. People are downloading directly from you. If you're not using a VPN, they'll be downloading from your IP address. So to get rid of that, all you have to do is right click and press delete. Now, before you delete, you do want to move 
out of your downloads folder what you just downloaded. It shouldn't mess with anything, but every once in a while it can if you accidentally click an option. As you can see for me, it's still here. So after you delete in the seating um, category, it's all good. Seating is zero. You can close out of everything and you can shut down your VPN. So uh, yeah, that was a pretty lengthy video, but I think I got everything I needed to say out. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Um, I gained a big influx of subscribers lately, and uh, I really hope that this is something that they would want to see. So again, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one.